I'm going to do another tutorial today with this clipless curling iron. Um, this one's by Jose Abair. I don't know if you can see it, but um, it's a really great, gets really hot. Um, and today I'm going to do like kind of a loose curl look, um, maybe similar to a Taylor Swift type of hair thing. My hair is nowhere near as long as hers, but um, you can kind of get the idea. Um, let's see. Okay, so I already did the bottom. You can kind of see like these curls. So I'm just going to start with this middle section here so it doesn't take too long, but you can definitely get the idea. I have ghetto gel right now because I don't have anything good. So it's just the LA looks. Um, and this, so, um, I'm just going to put a little bit of this gel in my hair so it kind of already works with the ways that it has. So my hair was never this wavy growing up, so I never really learned how to work with it. Um, it got way more wavy when I had my thick. So I'm really going to focus it on the ends especially. I'm just, I don't want it to be wet, just kind of so it will hold the curl better. Okay, so um, if you haven't seen any other tutorials on how to use a clipless. Um, you can also use your regular curling iron with this if you don't have a clipless and you just wrap it around the outer clip part. Um, you can also remove the clip if you don't ever use it. So if you don't have one it's no problem but it is a little bit more convenient. So what you're going to do is just grab a piece of hair. For me, actually I think it's a little bit thick. For some reason my hair doesn't curl super well even though it's wavy. So. I'm just going to use a smaller one. Now, what I'm going to do is put it behind the hair, facing down, and I'm even going to just actually want to twist it backwards just a little bit, like that, okay? So I put it on, and sometimes the hair will just twist itself when you wrap it around, <clears throat> but I'm going to hold it for 15 seconds. You might need to figure out exactly how long to hold for your hair, and mine seems to work well with 15. And then you let go. Okay, so it looks weird now, but it will be okay. So you just keep repeating this. And just kind of, it doesn't have to be super uniform, but I know that the, if you pinch your hair too, as you're twisting it around, it usually just like gives it that narrowed down look as you go through it. My hair releases the curl pretty quickly so you can hold it up after you're done or you can just leave it like this for a while and it will kind of stay tight for a while. It's going to be even like a looser piece. These ones, I'll pull them down a little bit so they can kind of relax a little. <clears throat> So it might take a while to kind of experiment with what your hair does best, but just keep doing it and you'll eventually figure it out. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this around my head and fast forward for your lack of boredom convenience. So here we go. I finished this layer underneath here. I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do the top. Um, Taylor usually has her bangs to the side and kind of curled in. Um, I think that's pretty on her, but I don't really like it so much for me, I don't think. So, um, actually, I forgot to put a little bit of a gel on this. Just a little bit. I don't want it to look crunchy at all, but mostly on the ends. I barely have any left out anyways. Get my ends here. Ooh, and that's it. No. 
Okay. So. Uh, I'm going to take a bigger piece here. And then just do the same thing. Just wrap it. And kind of twist it as I'm going around. And watch the iron because it's hot. So it's just the same thing. Sorry if you guys couldn't see when I was wrapping it. I'm taller than this stand here. So I'm going to hold it about, wrap that piece around and let go. And then I think I'm going to wrap my bangs in with this piece and we'll see how that goes. I'm going to start it about right here. So keep that down. And this is a very big piece, so we'll see how this turns out. But Hold that. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. much done the bangs are still a little flighty but um I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit more gel just that much and just run it through to define the pieces and kind of pull them down a little bit And then if you want to just run your fingers through it a little bit, you can toss your bangs over to the side. It's really like a pretty like summer, summertime look. If you're going to the beach for the day, well, it might fall out if you go to the beach, but <laughs> you can go shopping and pretend like you went to the beach earlier. <laughs> Something, I don't know. <laughs> so, that's that, and it was actually super fast. Because you only hold the curl for maybe about 10 to 15 seconds, depending on your hair. And I have a ton of hair. It only took me about uh, 30 minutes. And I really like the way that look, uh, it turned out. You know how you're always seeing those girls in the magazines or on TV or whatever. And you're like, how do they get their hair like that? So I'm on a mission to figure out how they get their hair like that. And I'm going to show you guys and figure it out and share it and you guys can share it on whatever. So, um, again, this is the Jose Bear Quiltless Curling Iron and I'm going to have a discount on this on my blog coming up soon, so watch out for that. And otherwise, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!